what are some ways you counter people who say universal healthcare doesn't promote innovation or attract the same quality of talent that the private sector does? Or that you have to wait for any healthcare services under universal healthcare? Okay. I mean, I feel like when people say that, oh, universal healthcare doesn't promote innovation, they're, they're looking at this once again from some kind of capitalist viewpoint that you have to commodify healthcare and medicine. Medicine, the medical field, okay, always has research going on, all the time, regardless, in every single country on the face of the planet. Countries cooperate with each other for research, okay? There is never going to be a day when countries give up on medical research. <laughs> so, you know, we're not talking about vacuum cleaners or computer chips or something where, oh, we need to invest and, uh, you know, in R&D and only the private sector knows how to do it. No, no, it's not a business. It should be nowhere near the private sector. The private sector uses profit as a motive, as an incentive. We want to remove that from the equation. This is not a commodity. Healthcare, okay, is a public good. It's a public utility, right? It's it's same thing with the fire department. I don't want uh you know, a private company to decide what kind of fire hose they're going to use because it's cheaper or what truck they're going to buy because it saves them money. No, out of the question. Okay, now there's a lot of people that will come and say like, oh, but the private sector knows how to manage things better and they're more efficient. Complete horseshit. This is statistically, scientifically false. Why? Because we have the numbers. Uh, Medicaid and Medicare are the most efficiently run programs in the government. They only have 2% of overhead. Okay, so for every dollar that's spent, two cents are spent on administrative costs. In the private sector, 20 cents, 10 times more is wasted on bureaucracy. Why would you want more bureaucracy? Why would you want to spend 10 times more on something that you don't have to? So that's something you can, you can show this on paper. This is proven. Multiple studies. Just Google it. You will find a plethora of studies proving this. So next time someone tells you that the government doesn't know how to run something efficiently, complete horseshit. And, and specifically this one, ironically, with healthcare, they're way more efficient. Yeah, I mean, like I said, man, there's always going to be research um, done with uh, in the medical field. And you have to point out that even if you want to play devil's advocate, okay, even if you want to give uh, you want to give them the benefit of the doubt and you want to say that Yes, maybe private uh, pharmaceutical companies or, or, or you know, private healthcare firms are better at research, are better at innovation, spend more money on R&D. It's your money. You paid for a lot of these drugs already. And yet they've been patented and sold back to you at jacked up prices. That's, that's not... Legal, that's fucking corruption. That's theft. You already paid for a lot of this shit. It belongs to you. There are so many of these uh, companies just brazenly stealing taxpayer money, using it to research drugs, to carry out clinical trials, and then the drug isn't owned by the taxpayer. It belongs to a private company. And then they go and make a killing off of it. You already paid for it. It's yours. You know, even if you want to you say, okay, well, the private sector is better at innovation, then let them pay for their own fucking shit. Why are you paying for it? Why have you already paid for it? They stole tons of taxpayer money. That's not legal. That's theft. So they want to go and innovate? Great. Good for them. They can do it on their own dime. How about that? So... <laughs> And uh, yeah, this, this idea that you have to, you have immense waiting lines or whatever. Dude, healthcare is served on a 
need basis, okay? Yes, you might have to wait. If your case is not urgent, you shouldn't be the first one in line. It's not a fucking discotheque. You're not waiting to get into a club. <laughs> You're not supposed to strain the system on purpose. That's inefficient. That's stupid. It should be based on need. So if you have to wait for something because someone has a more urgent case, good. That means it's being run properly. Do you get what I'm saying? But on top of it, I mean, dude, uh, what's the longest wait that I've had? I don't know. Two, three hours? Wow. It wasn't life-threatening. If you're, if you're in a life-threatening situation, they won't make you wait. I mean, this is... This is <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying, man? It's... Um, it's like if you call the fire department and you tell them my cat is up in a tree and then someone calls the fire department at the same time and says my fucking house is on fire. Where do you think the fire truck is supposed to go? To get the cat or to go and put out the fire at the house? Go and put out the fucking fire. It's more pressing, right? Same thing with healthcare. If you call the cops and you say... I don't know, my neighbor shat on my porch. <laughs> and then someone calls the cops and say, uh, there's an armed intruder in my house. Where do you think the cops are going to go first? Pretty sure they're going to go and deal with the armed intruder and then come and deal with your neighbor who shat on your porch. Why should healthcare be any different? <laughs> I, th I, think that, I think I made my point. There you go. I should upload that one. So I, I hope that answers your, your question adequately. Also, uh, you know, in terms of innovation, uh, another thing that you could uh, say is that, you know, the United States has tons of money, but most of it is being spent on the military, okay? You could have universal health care several times over and still spend more than any other country on research on new drugs, clinical trials, whatever. Why do people keep talking like the money does not exist? Motherfucker, it's there. You all paid for it. <laughs> the Pentagon has $21 trillion missing. Why aren't they upset about that? You could have paid for, for God knows how... <laughs> How many people's healthcare in hospitals with that, right? But nonetheless, once again, there's always going to be people doing research. I mean, universities, okay? Just the universities alone, I'm not even talking about uh, private firms or something, are constantly investing tons of energy, time, money, resources into research. And yeah, a lot of it is government funded too, sure. The Pentagon also gives billions of dollars every year to... MIT and for them to research weapons. I mean, is that really necessary? Just make MIT research drugs. I don't know. The money is there. Again, it's just the, the, the priorities are all screwed up. So, so there you go. Yeah. And th this whole notion that private companies are more efficient, wrong, on paper, undeniable. And once again, the whole premise that you would commodify healthcare in the first place is ridiculous. Even if even if private companies were more efficient at handling healthcare, you still shouldn't let them do it because their only incentive and motive is profit. By default, you should not give them this task because it is a risk, it is an affront, it's a danger to public safety. You can't risk that. No. <laughs> But nonetheless, we're not in that case. We have proof that the government is 10 times more efficient, not two times, 10 times, okay? And you have the money. A lot of these drugs that they research, you already paid for them. So you're just being swindled. So I hope that answers the question adequately.